we heard the news that they're actually gonna get to Kabul very soon because they're just in the border. And that's when it just hit me. Police officers took off their uniforms, ministers fled their ministries, immigration officers went home, and then for a period we had total anarchy and lawlessness. On Sunday, August 15, the insurgent army that calls itself the Taliban took the Afghan capital, Kabul. After almost 20 years and more than $1 trillion spent by the United States and its allies, the city fell with barely a shot fired. It's just no one thought that it would be an absolute victory at this rapid a scale. It was lightning speed. My family and everybody was panicking. They were calling me. They were like, Ariana, you, you guys need to get out of there. People realized that the city had fallen. Everyone rushed to the airport. So you had thousands of people on the tarmac. And everyone was attempting to get on the plane. I was just visualizing that if I get up to the end of the ramp, I got the lucky cargo deck with 200 odd other people and we just had to sit down, legs crossed. And as we took off, the plane takes off pretty steeply and we just ended up in everyone's lap as we took off. The desperation led to heartbreaking scenes at Kabul's airport. It's a disaster and I cannot believe that the entire world right now, they're just watching and they just left Afghanistan in chaos, just like that. Me and my family are just waiting for a visa to Australia. We cannot do anything. We can't do anything. People of Afghanistan right now are living in a cage. Yes, I feel that. I feel we are in a cage. When there's no freedom, when there's no rights, when there's no justice, when there's no little hope. I don't know what the Pashtun word for clusterfuck is, but this is the most ridiculously outrageous screw up that I've ever experienced or even heard of. Some people inevitably will now begin to say that the Western project in Afghanistan was doomed. I don't think it was doomed, it was botched. Tonight on Four Corners, the tragic saga of the fall of Kabul, told by those who escaped and those left behind. And how America's longest war ended in ignominious failure.